What's going on everybody? In today's video, we are picking up some awesome pops from Facebook Marketplace for an upcoming auction and also picking out some really cool pops for a giveaway for this auction. So big shout out to Whatnot for being the sponsor of today's video. And without any further ado, let's get started. Here we go. What's up folks? I am here for a deal that I found on Facebook Marketplace. I think that this would make some really good whatnot items since I love to do auctions and everything like that. And so we're waiting here. I think I'm gonna be let in the gate right here. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. I, I'm not 100% sure, so, uh, but yeah. Hopefully in a little bit, I'll show you what I'm picking up. How's it going? Good, all right. I was like, this this seems like an entrance, but then I'm like, oh, yeah, if I if I just read, it says that it's not an entrance. No, you're okay. But so, are you a collector yourself and just kind of getting out of it, or? Yeah, I'm a collector. I just need uh, extra money right now. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Your uh, your tattoo right there. Yeah, and that's exactly why tattoo. I'm doing this. I can finish my neck. Oh, right on. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Why I, so, yeah, I don't, move some yeah, of this. You're all kind of just count and look through everything here. No worries. Yeah. I'd, let's see. So we got one, both of those. That's a cool one. one. Yeah, I like that one a lot. That's one that I'm missing, actually. So that's a good yeah, one. That came in only a, in a, it's like a T-shirt box of some sort, yeah, right? At was Walmart, a, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was at Walmart. Do you need this? Do you need this bag? No, do you want me to yeah, just load it in, or are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I'll let you have it. Yeah. Okay, let me uh, grab your cash real quick before I forget. All right, folks, fast forward a couple of minutes. The deal has been done, and I decided this was right down the road. I wanted to go visit a store, the Nerd Store, to pick up some pops for my next upcoming auction as far as for a giveaway. So we've been to the store before. They usually have some really good stuff, so hopefully we can find some good things. Let's head into the store. All right, folks, here is the Nerd Store. As you can see, they got a bunch of pops right there. Let's check it out. Let's see what they got. So right here seems to be the their normal section of pops it actually says right there 11.99 Funko Pops so I don't know if we're really gonna focus on this area much because we're looking for a couple more higher end you know maybe like 40 to 50 dollar pops that we can use for some giveaways for the next auction but if you guys want to take a look looks like everything is separated into sections so you got your Marvel a little bit of DC some uh, Star Wars that's in here some of those new snowman Star Wars kind of interesting pops it's not my cup of tea but interesting nonetheless you also have some harry potter pops some other movie things more star wars but yeah this gives you a good idea of some of the stuff that they have right here Ooh, i'm loving me this one for 11.99 that seems like a pretty good deal you got hank from uh finding dory I almost said finding nemo he's from the sequel but yeah it's definitely a good one you also have some anime some simpsons yeah maybe i'll look through here and see if there i can find any maybe little hidden gems but I doubt it. This is seems to be just their normal section of stuff. Okay, I'm not sure if this is a good deal or not, but we have Twisted Wolf from Five Nights at Freddy's, the Twisted Ones, and for $11.99, I'm not sure if that's, I think, well, that seems to be a reprint. I don't know, some of the Five Nights at Freddy Pops can be a little bit of expensive, but maybe not that one. And I did find this one, I don't think it's worth anything, but uh, Blake Griffin, that is definitely an older, NBA pop. Kind of cool to see that. Yeah, from 2020. I guess it's a little bit older, a couple years old, but found that kind of interesting. Over here, this is where we're going to get into some more of their a little bit more expensive pops and everything like that. I think it would be maybe cool to find some Christmas themed pops for the auction and stuff like that. I don't know if we'll find any in the Marvel section right here, but they do have a couple of cool pops that I haven't seen in a little bit or you don't see very often. This is a new one Loki with Scepter, Thor from Ragnarok. Some of those Ragnarok pops are getting pretty expensive. You got the Iron Patriot, Valkyrie, Black Widow. Yeah, some really good ones. Falcon's a really solid one. Maybe if we can't find any Christmas themed stuff, I think that would make a good giveaway. One of my favorite pops when it came out, not really expensive by any means, but is Ice Man. I think this one looks awesome. I love the translucent ice that's coming from his hand right there. That is definitely a very unique pop for sure. Okay, folks, and right here, you're going to find some more Star Wars stuff and some more DC. This is kind of a fun one, the Surf's Up Joker, one that's gone up in price a little bit. Another one that I don't know if I've ever seen in person before. We have the Blue Lantern Flash. Kind of an interesting one. That's kind of cool. Like I said, I don't think I've ever seen that one before. It's kind of an older one. What is it, 2015? Yeah, definitely a little bit older. All right, over here, guys, they have some mixed in kind of movie pops and some Star Wars. One that I found that I think is kind of cool right here is E.T., the original E.T. Definitely one that you don't see very often came out in 2014. 
one that maybe I've been debating on getting. They have really some newer pops that have been fun, so maybe it might be cool to get the old one. And good old Bernie Sanders for 35 bucks as is. It must be damaged somewhere, but that's another one that you don't see often. Okay, folks, coming in on the other side of the section, there are some really cool pops over here that I want to show to you guys that I think are pretty darn sweet. So you got a couple of older G.I. Joe pops, Cobra Commander and Roadblock. When did those come out? They came out in 2015, so they're a little bit older. But you have some fun animation pops down here, like you have Cake from Adventure Time, some of the Jetsons pops, Rosie the Riveter. Actually, there's a couple that I'm eyeing down here that I think make might make some fun giveaways. We have like this Freddy Funko Spaceman from 2016, and also this other one, I think, yeah, from 2016 as well. So we have a red one and a blue one. Those are really cool, fun, unique pieces. And they also have this one that I think is pretty cool too. 3,000 piece uh, Freddy basketball player. That was from New York Comic Con, but also was Emerald City Comic Con. A couple of other cool ones like Play-Doh Pete, the Limited Piece one, Yosemite Sam, Gossamer, Daggett is a cool one. Some fun Disney ones up here, guys. You got like Pocahontas, Tafiti, some more anime and stuff, some Pokemon, Sailor Moon is really cool. Yeah, take a look at some of these down here, guys. Some, some ones that you don't see very often. God of War might be a good one as well, but uh, Overall, this is an awesome section. Taking a look at some of their grails. It's over by the register. The music was a little bit loud, but take a look at some of these guys. There's some really cool stuff like the Iron Man that's right there, Marty McFly, some other really cool stuff, Princess Leia, Daredevil, and also some Soul Eater Pops, Johnny Bravo, some original Flintstones, TMNT, lots of really cool ones, guys, in this case. There's also a couple of uh, bigger packs of Pops, so those are pretty interesting as well. And um, yeah, a couple other ones like the Geico Guy, the Mayor, and Bell. And then they also had this Buzz Lightyear, which I thought was really cool that you don't see very often. But other than that, that was pretty much it as the more expensive stuff. All right, folks, this should be the last stop of the video. So, you know, when I go to the Layton Hills Mall, I go to Entertain Mart. Hopefully they have some new stock, maybe some things that we can buy for another giveaway for the auction that's coming up. Or maybe just some other cool things that we can come across. So let's go check it out. We'll see what they got. I'll be honest with you guys, Entertain Mart was kind of a bust. Um, nothing too crazy. They had this Doctor Who pop, which I think it might be actually a newer one, so not much value there for the auction. I love some of these new Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas pops. I think they're kind of cool, so I figured I'd show that off real quick. Kind of looking around, seeing if there's anything else. They got this from last year, the Gingerbread Thor, which is kind of a funny pop, an interesting one. But uh, taking a look at some of their back wall pops here, guys. They had this three pack, which is kind of one you don't see very often. Not much value, though, of the green lantern right there this pop from fallout kind of an interesting one gonna pass on it today though figured i'd show it to you the new zorro pops pretty cool figured i'd show that as well love me some zorro and then kind of taking a look at their other section guys they have this old walgreens star wars pop kind of a fun one not much value there either but a cool one nonetheless and then taking a look at the rest of their section there is nothing new or nothing noteworthy unfortunately all right folks i'm gonna switch this up a little bit i think uh actually you know what i think we're gonna stay here at the desk but let me show you all the pops that i ended up picking up that i'm adding to my next auction here are the two pops that I'm adding to the giveaway, guys. We have some really cool ones. We have the Freddy Funko Space Suit, and he's also got the Red Flag, so this is a Funko Shop exclusive. Came out in 2016, so it's a little bit of an older one. And also, to kind of match that same vibe, we have the Space Suit Freddy as well, but he's kind of got a teal suit without the flag. And these are ones I feel like you don't see very often, and I think these will make some great pieces for the auction. So if you guys wanna bookmark that auction so you don't miss it and these giveaways and everything like that, link will be in the description below for the next WhatNot auction. Let me show you some of the other pieces that I've got as well. We got it in this nice little uh, cool bag. I don't know, I was like, do you want do you want to keep the bag or anything like that? And he's like, nah, just, just take the bag. But uh, anyways, I think these will be some really awesome pieces. We'll go at them one by one so you guys can see them. All right, here's everything in the lot that I bought and I can post like prices and everything like that of what it's actually worth. So yeah, I spent around, I think about $16 per figure. So pretty close to retail on everything here. Goliath from Gargoyles, guys. This was a show I remember back in the day over on Disney Channel. And surprisingly, this is the most valuable out of the whole lot. You can look on the back right there of all the different figures that they have. But Goliath, 
Smith. I, I mean, he's the main character of the whole bunch, and so that makes sense maybe why he's worth a little bit more, but that's a really cool figure that's available on the auction. All right, up next, I think this might be the most expensive pop in the lot, but this is the Upside Down Spider-Man reading his book from Spider-Man Homecoming. And actually looking through my Spider-Man collection, I actually already have this pop, so this will make a great auction piece. Definitely a really cool one, guys. And um, yeah, this one was kind of a weird one. The way that you got it was at Walmart and it was in like a like a bundle of some sort with like some socks or a t-shirt. I can't remember, I'll pop an image up on the screen. But yeah, this is definitely a unique piece for sure. We've got two pops that are relating in the same line from Army of Darkness, guys. We have the original Ash and Deadeye. If you wanna take a closer look at that, when did these come out? These came out in 2014. These are some really rad pops. I think the Deadite is worth more than Ash over here, but uh, definitely some really cool nostalgic figures that kind of have that, you know, original Funko mold to them. All right, guys, over here, this one I think is a sleeper. Well, and I'll tell you why. This is Cal Kestis and BD-1. So this is from uh, the Jedi Fallen Order, and they actually announced a new game in this series, so it'll be cool to see, you know, what happens to this pop or if they make another one of him but i would think that this is probably a wise investment to get this pop right now i think I, I can't remember his price right now but it's pretty affordable and so i think this will make a great piece on the auction for you star wars fans out there and people that are fans of the game i still need to play that game i heard it's really fun all right yuichiro from serif of the end i know that this pop has gone up a little bit as well in price this whole line i'm not quite sure you know what's in correlation with this anime if it's still going or if it ended i know that there's a lot of fans of the show so, you know, I, I don't doubt that these pops, you know, will be much lower, much longer. So this is a cool one as well. Hot Topic exclusive and a cool one from 2016, guys. We have Lara Croft from Tomb Raider. Who remembers this game back in the day? I remember playing it on the PC, but they had it on the PS1. Such a classic game and, you know, one of the all-time greats if you're asking me on the PS1. But anyways, lots of cool items that we can add to the auction. Figured I would show you what I have available for the auction auction guys including the stuff that I just showed off to you but here are some of the other things that I will have we have these cool hello kitty figures Bob's Burgers a little bit of everything honestly NYCC stuff Napoleon Dynamite Marvel and something really cool guys I'll also be giving away a bunch of vaulted vinyl stuff these little tags right here you can scan in and I've got a bunch of really cool stuff to give away so there gives you a little bit of a preview of what other things I will have but overall folks that's gonna do it for this video thank you so much for watching I definitely do appreciate Appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite piece that I came across. Mine would probably have to be the Spider-Man right here. That would definitely be my very favorite piece. It's really unique, but let me know in the comment section below what your favorite is. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching again. You guys are awesome and the best. Like always, remember to be kind of one another and always promote positivity. I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys later. <gasps>